uni mibi so uko uko university mibi wa yes i went to whole technical university in 50 words okay who is kwadu sheldon in 50 words mm-hmm. i i wouldn't be able to quantify the words though but in 50 words kwadu sheldon is the greatest to ever do this the a media maverick media mogul the 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 mother nigga who came from Kol Pipiasi and disrupted the whole system the guy that got niggas wearing duku the nigga the nigga that got niggas screaming bars my nigga bars the guy that has created careers for a lot of artists yes i am that guy rich preacher yes someone yaje what one lovely people the name is richie and you know how we do it if you don't know how we do it stay tuned i'm about to show you how we do it this is rich friends media if you haven't subscribed yet please kindly subscribe you know what i'm saying on today's episode i've got someone's very special here that person traveled to the uk and i said you know a fellow content creator was like nah i can't you know sit there for you to just come and have your holidays and enjoy it and just go like that so today i've got kwaju sheldon tell it rich man's media that's yes yeah you see you don't go make arrest until you won't drag me come here come yeah nah. but yes uh, i'm happy to be here everything cool oh everything cool we be yeah, cool we be yes, cool yes yeah but yeah yeah what one thing we they can't have conversation we outside mm, what they happened though me the ideal mm. i just you be the pioneers and i'm a pioneer and your man google come my mind so now and for now no day every day you know oh pioneer no one a pioneer pioneer ah is it in the face of no you for relax that one we go open up you know what i'm saying you the first one you know see the way now be who so yeah the only guy can yeah we share we share see anyway Charlie, you know so, recently yeah. i realized say your your name your name pa no be shared in where you get that shared in from it's from the big bang theory um oh it's, it's america american sitcom ah there is a character in it so um that character I feel like i embody a lot of car- i mean characteristics from that character so i decided to just go for that name so okay. my real name is bernard but the shouting is from a character a fictional character from the big bang theory and if you have seen it you understand how i behave how i behave oh so it's like related to that shouting yeah yeah he's he's obnoxious he's weird he's arrogant he's he, wait wait yeah are you arrogant yeah I am. You I'm, are one of the few people that you know mm. claim that okay they are arrogant because uh, yes I need to own I, mean, I am sick and tired of trying to explain myself to people that I don't even know. Uh, fair so, enough. Yeah, I am proud and arrogant. Ca- nah. Call me Captain Arrogant. Boss me that's a man catch. And your boss me catch. So they all catch out they all cry boss. You dey be behind boss. Get out of here bro. Who bow and cry if you who bow and cry boss. Me no me catch us with a boss. Me say me a Captain Arrogant was say a boss anyway. Yeah so. Now Udime, what what name you you get for your birth certificate? Bernard Kojo Amwafo. Bernard Kojo Amwafo. Ah, yes. you, you get that penning for penning for say to two more kind of name. Yeah, like yeah. Dina. Me, you know, me, hi guys, yeah. welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Yawa of the day. As, 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 these are not my boss, my nigga. Instead of me doing nana nana, we are peer. Yeah, they make it kai kai. Anyway, you need me be so uko uko university me boy. Yes, I went, I went to whole technical university. In 50 words. Okay. Who is Kwadu Sheldon? in 50 words mm-hmm. i i wouldn't be able to quantify the words though but in 50 words kwaju sheldon is the greatest to ever do this the a media maverick media mogul the 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 mother <laughs> nigga who came from Kol Pipiasi and disrupted the whole system the guy that got niggas wearing duku the nigga the nigga that got niggas screaming bars my nigga bars the guy that has created careers for a lot of artists yes i am that guy rich preacher yes And hey. I'm, right now I'm in the UK chilling with my my brother Richmond. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Greatness is happening. Yes. Okay, so what motivates you to embark on this beautiful journey that we are seeing today? Hunger and unemployment. Yes. I, I mean, I've never seen myself being in front of the camera like standing in front like in front of a camera and shouting now uh, i I'm, i'm the shy type i mean i don't know how to talk to people i don't know how to a- engage people i have social anxiety and all those things but when they come see me you would put the social anxiety aside and cook what you're supposed to cook to make sure there is food on, food your table. on the table that one is so very, i just didn't want to be another unemployment statistic in the system so i decided to choose the spot and it's been worth it 
uh, since the onset. So yeah, we, we, you know. Yeah, I think this is the second time I, I I'm saying this. Mm. If I hadn't met you, you know that looting festival, no? yeah. When I saw you, the way you were calm, the way you were just standing there, mm. you know, from afar, I was like, ah, is this really uh, Kodi Sheldon? Because ah, yeah. this guy is always on people's necks. Like you know, I remember you and Shatawale, DKB, yeah. Bongo Ideas. But you two, you get any so? I don't think they are my enemies. They can't be my enemies. You can't be on. You can't be on my list of people I hate. Okay. I don't hate anyone. You don't hate. I have a list, but there's no one on it. I feel like there's no point in hating people. I just say things that is on my mind and I move. If you feel like, if you feel offended by that, I am sorry, but I will say what I'm I'm supposed to that say. That is who you are. Yes. There is nothing. It's not like I'm coming it. to insult your mother or your father. Yeah. If I disagree with you on something, I will say it and move on with my life. I mean, express your feelings and yeah, we, see how actually, that is the point of democracy, right? Oh, okay. You know, right now, when we look at Kwadi Sheldon, I mean, I started watching you when, when you were even standing in the room, like, you know, with green background, with a phone and all that. Yeah. I think from 2017, 2018, you've been in the game for like six, five years now. Yeah. So the whole thing started from OMG, right? So yeah. when you quantify the number, it's it's been six years six since years. I started doing the video, the media thing. So yeah. Um, and as you said, I mean, from... When I left OMG, I started doing the videos in my room, right? Yeah. Are you, you, I think the pandemic time, you would see me sitting on it. Sometimes you see my bed, sir. See my. Oh yeah. Because yeah, I yeah. was, I didn't have space and a whole lot of things, so I would shoot. Hey, and there's heat, bro. It was. But that one, I remember. I used to for your bed, sir. I used to see bro, only to one, see, one see, bed sheet, yeah, one color. See, yeah, there was some. I think it'd be some brand be like i bought it from the market bro. I've, 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 but I've, you you try you you yeah, fall you so you see the kind of environment the kind of state then i was in that was why there was no room for me to fail like bro peace out you yeah, can't, that you one, can't, you can't fail over here bro 100%, so i just decided to do this thing and change my life that's good yeah. so what's the secret ingredient that turns your videos into perfect blend of education and entertainment because right now they, they do cartoons me like hey yeah. So, oh, prr, oh, podcast, oh, cartoons, oh, yeah. nana. So that is basically, um, you see, wh- what we do, right? You see, right now there are a lot of people coming up doing what we are doing. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't evolve, yeah, and diversify your content portfolio, you are going to be obsolete. You are going to be stale. You are mm-hmm. going to be, it's going to be monotonous in the eyes of people. So, in the quest to be outstanding in the quest to be you know that kind of content creator you have to you know give people variety and that is what i do i always try as much as possible to give people so when you come to my platform and there is you don't like your of the day there's pro if yeah. you don't like pro there's show of the day if you don't like show of the day there is what the rapper said there is breakdown and the old joe thingy the street vibe yes and all that. pool of content come yeah. and choose from it and enjoy yourself you understand so that is i i'm always thinking outside the boss i'm always ahead of the curve i don't want to be just random i just don't want to be that guy who just shoot video no bro i want to do this thing this is beyond ghana this is beyond kwejo sheldon and that is why right now i have a lot of people lot of, on yeah. board so um yeah we we'll even get back to that one because yeah. It seems like you have got like more than 15 employees yeah, and then have yeah, working people, for you. Yeah. Right now you are here with me chilling and you know cruising in the in Tesla but yeah. you are not bro. But <laughs> Tesla now on Tabayo. But Scanty mm. is there cooking like yeah. cooking 24/7. He has no choice then to cook or else I'll fire him. <laughs> yeah. So Scanty is back. Scanty Scanty is doing great. Ajo is doing great. Ajo is doing great. Ojo fish. Oh, you know what? The squad. Yeah, that right? one, that one is quite they are, good. They are all cooking. Uh, Andy, uh, go, go, all of them. Um, you know, yeah. So big ups to them. So yes. But one question is, how did you get that idea that okay, right now I'm I'm doing yaw of the day. Let me chip in breakdown. I know you are the first person, first person to start breakdown. You no, know, no, Magraheb started. Oh, Magraheb started. Magraheb is an inspiration. He was the one that inspired me to do the reaction, the music reaction oh, okay. because proud to me uh, coming into the the game that side he was doing it my guy uh, in reaction so big ups to him oh, okay yeah. but yeah so after breakdown and then you chip in the pro and then all that like how did you get that idea like that inspiration like okay let me let me add this one let me add this and now you are even including the cartoon like i said earlier how did you you know manage to do all of that yeah so as i said the end game is not just to be a video um a youtuber, YouTuber um it, i wanted to transition to a situation or a place where 
we own like a big media company and we own our own tv station so it is it is big if i wanted to do this thing on you know like oh just could you shout and sit down i would have just you know me them fish you go fish you know yeah i just need fish to shoot and edit then we are done but then i that is not i am ambitious i'm from co and everything i do i attach ambition to it that is what most people don't get it they go like oh sheldon is bro if i tell you i'm good at something i am good at it there's nothing you can do to change me my mind and i'll tell you why i'm good it's not like i'll come and sit here and tell you i'm good at this breakdown thing or i'm good at content creation and you, you have and, evidence to bro, prove that come on, bro. Uh, i've been doing this thing for the past six years and we transition from sitting in rooms to bro come on London. don't do that so it is it is me just being ambitious and me trying to do bigger things for myself and the people i work with that is what that is what encouraged me to like you know do all these things because as i said in the nearest future we are going to transcend boundaries we are going to establish our own tv station we are good see i mean that one yeah, and yeah by god's grace everything is going to be fine for but us. yeah i know for that i know for sure that one yeah. you can do it so how do you manage to stay camera ready whilst dealing with the you know chaos behind it you know behind the scene and all that never i, ne- I never stay camera ready i just go and shoot i don't prep i don't i don't i don't script my content i prep but i don't script my content so i just you know tell fish fish you ready let's go i fire and that is how that is why my my content is is organic like is what you you see what what you are seeing is it's what you gain is raw bro it's organic sometimes you see me oh bro me me to me shoot tv video now me the like i i just want to be myself you understand mm-hmm. and do whatever i'm supposed to do and that is what has endeared me to a lot of people the shouting the the excitement you know even if i make a mistake in delivery you don't have to cut it it's a policy yeah, sometimes when i'm watching your you know yeah. reaction and all that yeah. i used to cut mine but now i've, nah, I've bro. been yeah Let I've been them, stuff. bro do whatever if that is going to entertain you no problem because so, i realize you know me whenever i'm talking sometimes i speak fast mm-hmm. and then you know Kuma, i'm not gonna blame it on kumasi before my r and my yeah, l i have that it's issue. your problem bro. yeah that one is my problem and then yeah. i i realized that some people were coming you know Ghanaians they don't like to comment if i don't know if it's only me but Ghanaians they barely comment mm. but after making that mistake which means that they are always finding negative you know something negative so that they can talk about they gravitate towards negative you know what i'm saying and they started throwing at me at first i was like mm, but later on i was enjoying it yeah just yeah. let them so go. right now everything if, is if cool, that is you know going to if that is going to make them happy if that is why going, not if that is going to keep the engagement going why not Charlie, yeah. do your thing okay the next question is if your youtube journey were a roller coaster what would be the most uh trailing loop the loop moment so far moment so far are, you t- are we talking about shortcomings or what yeah oh 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 so yeah um as i said you know in this part of our world i mean where we create content back mm-hmm. home there are a lot of things that we are not privy to we don't have access to when it comes to the platform that we operate on so if for example in our country you don't have access to super chats you understand yeah. youtube unless you change your vpn which is tedious so there are a lot of things like that we don't have access to that i would want the system the structure right now there are a lot of i mean youtubers in the country doing the numbers so i don't know what is happening but then the conversation should be about that I think there are i mean there was a time too that my youtube channel got hacked oh yeah i remember that one and then you created another yeah. another channel Bro, and then still i think we didn't we didn't feel like then you got 20 what? like 20k subscribers when you that one i was that like, is when i i knew said no nah, nah. i'm that guy bro yeah. i'm that guy so I, I that is why i can't give up bro because yeah. then that is why i'm not even afraid to lose my account because the kind of brand that i have built off youtube i'm still going to be relevant so i'm good that one like, is- these are things that we go through in our line of work but the thing is we don't own the platform mm-hmm. we Maybe work for youtube for youtube so uh, anything can happen Charlie, you know, yeah. or Honuma, that is why we are trying to get I mean get to a point where we will own the platform and no more the content got to our copyright to be able yeah, to be like yeah. That. Yeah. okay that one is perfect you yeah. know when y- you were granted an inter I don't know you you did an interview I don't really remember and you were talking about some of the things that you went through starting um your YouTube journey you know the kind of comment that people used to mm. you know comment I mean you know negative negative comments you know what I'm saying yeah if you were to create a YouTube tutorial on how to deal with internet trolls what would be the first step that we should take for instance me that i'm starting this journey what would be uh, what should be the you know first step that i should take when people started you know 
giving me a negative comment and all that yeah so i've been a troll before i used to be very careless on twitter i used to own a certain twitter account that i would i mean used to move to a lot of you know people in the limelight mm -hmm. i thought it was funny right i thought it was it was it was fun I, I was getting the engagement the likes the retweet and everything so you know when you are in that kind of zone you feel like oh people are paying attention to me i'm getting yeah. all the attention then until i became you know popular then people started moving to me i said okay so when you are at the receiving end this is how you feel so inter a uh, cyber bullying cyber internet bullying, trolling yeah. and all these things these are things that we don't encourage because i deal with a lot of celebrities sometimes they tell yeah. you their stories their darkest secrets and sorry about how they deal with some of these things and they go through a lot they might pretend on instagram that they are cool but there's the word there is something that you see in the comment section that will go like it will enter them. Will, yeah so i feel like you know we and right now you see there the internet is open and it's free to everyone so anyone with basically data will, will come, just walk, come and come and one, one gonna see the person will exactly. just come and, then. and it, it, it isn't something that we should encourage and i feel like anything that you do consequences day you understand mm -hmm. the thing that you are saying to let's say celebrity a or celebrity b or your friend or anybody you know um consequences day you don't know how the person is going to feel so i feel like you can speak your mind you can say whatever you want to say by the end of the day be calculated um with your utterances so that at the end of the day you no know, because bro in our ghana we don't take mental health seriously yeah there are a lot of our artists going through some of these things they come on social media people are dragging them and uh, uh this song is trash this is bro a whole lot of things i feel like sometimes we for just you know cut them some slack and let them just operate but in all internet you know trolling and cyber bullying isn't something that i'll sit here and endorse and if you are doing it bro so could could this be the reason why you know at first you used to rate people after reacting to their songs yeah. like you used to give them two yeah, five yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. could this uh, is this is it the reason why you have stopped doing that or yeah, yeah. i mean I, I don't want to you see that's the thing um uh, see, as we are growing we are you learn and learn, learn and unlearn, unlearn some things. Some things yeah. and so i've had conversations with a lot of people i mean it's not like it's going to if i if i don't like a song i'm going to say it in a song i'm going to say it in a reaction regardless but at the end of the day i feel like let the people in the comment section they all decide, decide. Yeah. so i'll just finish reacting and oh charlie drop your comment what do you think about this song and let us move on bro um i know go music school or do it bro i'm just trying to you know help our artists get mileage mm -hmm. when it comes to social currency so i just do it but then i feel like we should help them and they should also help themselves for us to help them that is right all. that's that's but we are, just, we are going to be fine yeah. yeah there is this thing that i have realized you have to tell me your secret you know what i'm saying mm. there are some artists whenever you react to their songs yeah even your reaction, sometimes you get like 120k views. Like, mm. it's not like I want to mention anything, but you, recently, you know, recently, like not long ago, you had an issue with Yapono and all that, you know. And that particular song, your song, um, your reaction was like around 120. And that time, I think Yapono was, you know, around 60. Mm. What be your secrets like? Be, what could you do, Viana? Because you know, be Yapono cry. Even Sa called their cry recent song, Via, yeah. he did not. The same their thing song, happened here. Yeah. They are getting 80,000, I'm getting 80,000 that should tell you see that's the thing um i have outgrown the structure mm -hmm. people come to my platform to 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 make decisions about what songs to listen and so that is why I, when i started i said i'm the greatest to ever do this shit. so if i'm getting more views than you what you are supposed to do is to involve me in, in the your program, yeah in the way. process bro i have worked for a lot of artists i don't charge them money i just enjoy shouting and hyping your song I just want to see the Ghana brother win, and at the end of the day, you are into YouTube, right? You yeah. react to songs. Yeah. You don't make money. You don't make any money. If I be, this is your off lead. I, I just, I Relax. just, bro. You know, I know go straight. I know I can't come and kill myself for uh, a clueless artist to come and you know but, subject me to insult and all those things. So I just do it. But the thing is, bro, trust me. When you go, there are a lot of artists that are reacted to their songs. You go to their page, you look at the music comments, like the music video, the comment section. Kodi Sheldon, Kodi Sheldon yeah, Kodi Sheldon brought me here. Bro, it is it is that deep, but they don't listen. They just don't want to admit Unless, that but Kodi Sheldon is doing this. That is like, the problem. Okay, but why do they? Uh, I, I don't even know how to put it. 
do you think they should sometimes you know collaborate with you so that maybe you can even share the revenue or maybe Bro, not even sharing cry like make i tell you something i did there uh, with one big nigerian artist contacted me he wanted me to do a reaction for his song okay if i react to your song it's going to be copyrighted so what do what should we do throughout the conversation i said do you know what you're going to do? you're going to whitelist my account so that when i react to your song it is not going to be copyrighted. copyright he did it i reacted to the song boom money came the money came to me that is the difference between the nigerian man and, and the man. because Ghanaian uh, nigerians what i've realized when it comes to promotion and mm. doing this kind of in the music music aspect yeah come on even flavor did a show recently in in the uk you see how you go right eh? they were all sold out mm. but they started doing the promotion last yeah, year they understand the, the business aspect of, bro patoran can i date that you text you yo sheldon they can't release joint normally this conversation for past two manager or some patoran straight straight don't, away don't to jazzy you. dance bro uh my cool dance these are bro when i put them the joke bro. They, they ghana we for leno because if i'm is, reacting to your song and i'm getting more views than you you should you be, should know that you there should be worried there. and you should be coming i'm not saying say come and beg me or come and sleep on the floor for me involve me in the decision making and i would make your song a hit song i'll mm-hmm. make you fishers or uh, fishermen where fishers or fishermen and answer there see and they I, just feel like could you show this one thing is you see they don't they they are just they are just sad that you are the one doing it. A common corner will be for funny. You understand? But the thing is, yeah, 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 but I think you have you said you have black uh, blacklisted some you know certain yeah, Shantawal is blacklisted, the Apple is blacklisted. <laughs> Only these two people. Yes, huh? these two. I mean, yes. I'm never going to react to their songs ever in my life again until they come to apologize to me. Apologize to you. Yeah, you didn't need to apologize. They subjected me to um insult in the name i never insulted any of them never mm-hmm. o- or all they did was to insult me let 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 it look like i am eating off what they are doing which wasn't the case so me and yet till we only mean yes i everlasting so till they have to come and apologize i'm going for yes <laughs> you have to come oh, then uh, then then I also come. because i will never touch their work never in my life all right that, that one is your own decision so yeah. and it's your own channel you you do whatever do you want to do, do bro. yeah so share a blooper yeah moment that made it into the final cut and unexpectedly uh, unexpectedly became a fan favorite have oh. you got something like that no i don't no i, I think no a blooper blooper yeah we have a lot of bloopers like yeah i i, I know for yeah that. I we think, have a lot yeah recently you shared one was like oh, you know are you, are you, are you legitimate legitimate i was trying to say the word legitimate bro it was crazy for oh. me about five minutes yet to I, 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 that one is trending even yeah, I, I even saw it like yesterday it or something like that. you see it's beautiful you see that's that, that part i mean we tried that you see if you be normally editing that that thing is supposed to be out mm-hmm. of the video yeah, yeah, yeah. because it was you know but it was catchy so obviously ah, I mean, let it go bro and now it's trending it's ah. still gonna make us money you know what i'm saying it's not like i can't say legitimate it was a situation and i wear a wrist line so you always have a problem with my tongue but anyway fuck it right, i know you always miss your fans you know even yesterday when we was it yesterday last yeah. three days when we went to the to meet um the people yeah, traveling yeah, from yeah, ghana yeah, 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 yeah. you know Tell us about a fun encounter that left you both flattered and slightly, you know, bewildered. Listen, I was in Kumase for a program. Then I yeah. wo- I walked into a mall. We were shopping for, you know, drinks. Then a little girl of about 10 years mm-hmm. walked to me and was like, you could just show and I said, yes. I watch you. When I grow up, I want to be like you. Oh, that, that'll be the time I see. see. Oh, mo- yeah, bro. That, bro. And see. I'm not even talking about the mp uniform because I know they want kids, bro. Mm-hmm. Kids watch me like in Kuala 10, 12, in this area, man. Like they see you and they are happy, bro. Yesterday, um, Lampo's kid, you know, mm-hmm. he's been watching me and he he basically he 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 accompanied us to the to the the interview that you did. Was telling, Omega TV, yeah, yeah, he was telling his friends, oh, I'm going to the radio station or the TV station because you shot. So this be the, the things we do. I didn't move me to. Yeah, it is. But since when phone call, I have a problem. I'm calling. That is why. I, I mean, when phone call, they say I'm going to be calling. I'm calling. They don't want to have a problem. That is one reason why I started channel. the cartoon team because they are of the day calling. We are no one I rated. Yeah. So I have to give them the the the, the underage content. Bro, that be mad. That be mad. Now, no, when we talk about Kajoshelina, 
you are not a TV station, but uh, you get employees pass, you know, some TV station that I, want, I don't, I don't even want to mention. And it, the words are not even coming. I don't know if it's excitement or no, whatsoever. You are it is. Track, bro. Yeah, well, nah. you are bro. <laughs> 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 I'm joking, bro. But anyway, yeah. So you get you get employees than TV station. You know what I'm saying? Mm. How did you build your team? First and how all, did you choose mm. them? Because right now you have um thumbnail, someone who makes the thumbnail. Mm. Do you even have writers? You have have you got a blog? Uh, yeah, no, 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 I don't have a blog. We just do video content. Okay. Let me correct this thing. They don't work for me, they work with me. Okay. So they, they don't work for me. They are not my slaves. They work with me. They partner with me to do a lot of things. But of course they are on salaries and everything. So um yeah, as I said, we started myself and Fish, my partner. Yeah. We just started, you know, like, oh, let's do this thing. But I got to a point here who said adults. So you need people. And with the kind of the volume of content we put out, you know, Fish alone wouldn't be able to do yeah. everything. And myself, I wouldn't be able to do all uh, all that thing. So we decided to bring in people. So that is uh, how we recruited people to come and be, I mean, to come be be part of the team and create mm-hmm. with us. So as it stands now, we have 15 people that we work with. And yes, from sound people to thumbnail people, designers to creators to video editors, a whole lot of things. So yeah, they are back. That's why I can travel and, you know, have some small fun and the show goes on. Oh, so okay. we, I, 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 bro, this is bigger than Kwaju Sheldon. Mm, At this right. point, it is just so we have rebranded. It used to be, you know, those days used to be Kwaju Sheldon. Yeah. Right now it's Kwaju Sheldon Studios. Studio, yeah. So um, it is beyond me, but the name still stands. All right, that's yeah. perfect. Okay, so my next question is, you know, every day, Sheldon is releasing back to back. We already said that now you are not here, but Scanty is, you know, dealing for you. How did you get Scanty? Can you tell us a little, a little about this? Uh, can you tell us a little story about how you, you know, you found, you found uh, Scanty? Yeah, so Scanty came, I mean, contacted me that he wanted to come do his national service. National service? Yeah, so he came in. Ah, wait, national service, you can after, do, after school. Yeah, after. you can do your national service, you know, but this is private. Eh? You yeah, know? you can do it in a private company. Oh, okay. He contacted me, I was like, okay, all right. So I didn't know that he had this you know talking side now who say mm-hmm. you are, are you opinionated yeah so one day i think we started from pro the football side you know, mm-hmm. then he was firing left right center i said okay okay so we, i tried him on hour of the day he was firing no preparation nothing just the story put him there he was just fucking delivering i was like all right he need me double or so many we need me double or so many uh, yeah, that was it scanty never had any training so it was like just go ahead go and make me proud and he did so Be- big ups to scanty that one for, that one did 100 percent because right now you the combo like you two people like like when you when you, you when you got sit down then you, you already know that it's about to be madness yeah. even yeah. sometimes the introduction yeah oh recently <laughs> scanty released a video about you know Accra to london video we, we maji ah. sang he he sang for like 20 minutes whilst we like, are waiting like, for the content be like before i uh, mean uh, before the shooting or you know many booty to the man because i
the 12 people from Wonderland Ghana that set up on a journey from Accra to London. Accra to London on 23rd July. They have officially arrived yesterday. Hey. Hey. Word for word. Word for dude. word. And then, yeah, but yeah, that'd be how more times they prepare for some of these things. So we don't script it. So we try to be you know as make it as possible. i mean right now like you said earlier youtube is you know it's saturated right now mm. so if your content is not unique and people are not gonna enjoy it exactly so. they will not even like it and come back yeah yeah so what motivates you every day to shoot content sometimes you come on stage i could see that Sheldon, you just woke up from bed yeah sometimes I see my eyes yeah i could it. see from your eyes like this guy just woke up from bed and then he's yeah. about to you know do madness yeah i can't i can't afford to fail but I mean, at this time, I have a lot of people depending on me, uh, so I can't fail them. I can't fail myself. I can't fail my family. I, I bro, I just and I enjoy doing this, bro. Mm -hmm. Content creation is beautiful. And that one, dear, it if, is if so you... beautiful. So I just, all these things they motivate me to just get. There is no day that I no post video. It's that one, there. It is it's beautiful, especially the breakdowns. If I have like a song that is, bro. It's, it's beautiful it's content uh, creation yeah I, I don't think I, I would ever choose any other career path. i was gonna ask you like in your next life would you still choose content you know you would you be a content creator or you... even bigger bro not not <laughs> i, I mean would, Dana... i would change the country mom because ghana, ghana would be, yeah i'll probably be a content creator in the us or in the uk or in any other western country because you know i would make a lot of money okay now so what is your personal value system I don't because know. you mm -hmm. i believe i think you said it mm. because when you, you want someone to edit a video for you you stand on the person's neck mm. i remember recently i edited a video for you mm. we stood on the phone it was like video call like yeah. sheldon was like okay cut here i don't want this one i don't want that i think 12 a.m we were still editing mm. yeah so that is the thing because if you want to get we we people know us for quality videos yeah if you check the comment sections there are sometimes people are astounded by the yeah, fact that we have this kind of quality but yeah yeah i can testify to yeah, that it so, has it has, it yeah. has improved like. we just have some standards and everything and also i know i know how to you may be an old editor i know arrangement wise for we share for we share for we share this is how you for arrange the things so, so you go make sense so i just try to you know help the people that are working with me so that we can you know it, the video would make sense at the end of the day to the person consuming you understand so yeah um there is no structured values or you know scripted value system like that it just create content that people want and that's that's that's, that's really yeah. great i think i've got a last question up for you then we talk about how you are finding the uk and all that but yeah. what makes a strong leader as a ceo you for be you for make yourself accessible and available to your team you for be ready to take in um backlash and criticisms you for be that guy that, yeah. yeah you for be that guy that is not going to hold your position or be okay me but when you come to our office bro we, we, have you seen the I game mean, yeah, you, even the food um, vibes, thing bro. you went Everybody, I think that bro. yeah that bottle game that you were bro, it's if, like you guys are having we, fun we 24 fun. 7 if you are sick go and sleep go I have a bed go and sleep on it if you want to eat yeah but I put my food in the fridge if you want to eat take the food do whatever you want to do by the end of the day deliver my deliverables that one day yeah. I mean so I just me and Kasa I, I never even dreamt of these days say i would have people that would work in working for you, uh, so, with you yeah. bro we have a when i was signed to omg they did same to me they gave me the platform and the environment to operate so i was just having fun so i try as much as possible to replicate that kind the of same environment. energy yeah bro have fun do whatever you want to do when it is time for me to get my deliverables my videos you better be ready otherwise i'm gonna kill you <laughs> you know the cook yeah no the the talk yeah when you guys started I, I thought you were joking yeah and here i barely sleep early so sometimes you know 12 a.m yeah. you know 1 a.m i'll be around and you guys were still cooking yeah we were, we were talking we were i cooking. mean <laughs> anyways yeah, so, yeah. oh yeah we're still yeah, cooking yeah, cooking, talking. cooking content you yeah know what I'm we I mean, did it but i mean it was oh, i think wait, 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 wait. i think fish or scanty or one of them right let's do a talk at home what is talk at home we didn't plan we didn't have like the you know you need to your batteries your yeah your camera bro, and all it that. was crazy so, but then so we started it then bro 
see the diaspora people they were caught we we put our number on the screen we had about two thousand plus people called bro it was madness hey that be the day i see, see people they watch me it's like you know every day people is like give you a reason to keep you know bro, cooking keep because creating for content. 2000, bro from a brochure they were calling sending you money and shit i was like bro so that motivated us to go more but i got to a point bro and easy easy like hey, we said the next day but now on my film i share my camera and that's a camera now it's too tv there's lens and we need to see and this yeah and we catch up with a young quad it should be a spare part too or we will be doing it yeah i, I feel like we I mean, it's not going to be like we're well, talking taunting, but we should be doing more live videos live videos so that people, yeah, people can people interact to. with you and then all it, that. it's beautiful bro Ah, okay now back to you know we have we have talked about you know business and your personal life mm-hmm. and all that you are in the uk now yeah united How, kingdom yeah united right. kingdom you know what i'm saying and right now you are in luton 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 yeah repeat after me luton luton don't be like my brother who came here and mm-hmm. then they asked him where do you come from well, i'm from luton mm-hmm. it became a trend okay but then what is luton or luton yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, 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 but yeah so we did we did inside did you can, how do you find the weather do that one there for actually because it's inconsistent is is bipolar, bipolar all the names polarized motherfucker man it doesn't make sense to me but then it is what it is. i don't control the weather so we did inside but mm-hmm. uk uk is beautiful you know uh, yeah. talk about the architecture because you posted something on your yeah <laughs> red in the architecture where we did i mean and almost then it was so like the rooms are always small small i don't know what the fuck they're doing and they, what are you using the land for man i don't Jesus know the garden Christ. i don't even know what they use what the, the garden fuck are you, the garden you don't even have summer yeah. but Jesus anyway, Christ. let's talk about the food. Now you were complaining when I gave you Nando's chicken and chips, and then, but um, this food will not be small food that too. If, if you go to KFC in Ghana, you do know how much you go spend, bro. bro this be this be quality listen, food. Listen, the KFC I chicken know you know in our country, yeah, is it tastes better than this, bro. Is it is it the local chicken or that one be poultry? The well? a double double normally, yeah. <laughs> by the end of the day, it tastes better than the ones that we have here. I think because of the seasoning, this our spices, this one here, man. By the end of the day. You say when you go to you do what they do yeah yeah so. but then here too we have Ghanaian oh yeah yeah market, me, so. me personally i cook Ghanaian food yeah, right? exactly I barely, so that, I barely eat i think out. food is not a problem i mean so long as you come in quite so i don't have a problem yeah, that one is. i've tasted the actions and fish um you know i ate from nando's right nando's mm-hmm. is all right me so i brew over the total chicken you know i brew the yam mori kuku yeah man yeah the real cut here is i'm ready to to check in Share this. It will be a cook on a real brownie day. Ah, child. At the end, you know, why is all no Maria cook on sanguine brownie? Is all the brownie here for me, man? Maria cook on no. A cook on a day brownie. You watch no cook. No cook. You ask on a day brat no. What kind of bookie? What's that? He must be bookie. Where the name be bini? Where the kala 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 be bini? Where the name be bini? Where the name be bini? Where the brownie? Brownie new. Just when you pour, when you pour, cast on the trimo. Where the name be bini and a brownie. So when we got to the airport, you know, did you the um. Were well, there some people, you know, you know, saying, "Hey, quite a Sheldon, quite a Sheldon." I mean, when you get to Heathrow, oh, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, when I was, I mean, Italy. only Ghanaians, who, most of Ghan- yeah, 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 most Nigerians the Ghanaians and community. Ghanaians, yeah, and a bit of the Nigerians. They see, oh, that's the guy, yeah. But then there were a lot of Ghanaians at the airport. They saw me, and, you know, no Martins, bro. I will just take pictures and bounce. But yeah, it just feels good that people recognize what you do and they can actually, you know, yeah. you know, recognize your face. Yeah. All right. So on the 12th of August, Ghana party in the park. Yeah. So what that now means, Jimmy? What that need? Me cry. What that need? Me cry. Ah. We are making sure some people postpone. If you are, it's so talk like a big Jimmy. I'm be a big Jimmy man. So I'm be full of my cash. You need to cry, Abraham. What should we expect from Kodi Sheldon during that day? I'll be there shooting content, be talking to people. You know, this is my first time. You have a lot of people watching me. From when you look at my back and the numbers. I have a lot of UK people. UK, watching yeah, me, people so from the UK. I'll be talking to them, interacting with them, and you know, that, that I just have fun. I'm, I'm not a musician, so I'm not going to perform. So. Yeah, I'll just be in the, the the crowd, just shooting my content. That's all. So did you did you come by yourself, or there was a business that sponsored you, or yeah, yeah I don't yeah. know. I came here because of Tap Tap Cent. Tap Tap Cent. Yeah. Tap. We advert more. And they said, oh, if you the UK like this, you want to send money back home." That is the platform for you easy convenience and fast also when you use the promo code yawa you're going to enjoy discounts what i see and I, when you are sending the money you don't pay any fee on it so stick with them be with them 
Alright. This is Kabe Banti. No, this is advert. Yeah, we. No, say we say we pick a crema mio because we know your channel. Say we are rich men's media. But we don't care say we are rich. Now we scale. We be out there rich. But when we have say hard, it's also. I say it could be hard before I get the money. That's why I be rich hard. <laughs> anyway, it was nice, you know, talking to yeah, you, Mr. Sheridan. Nice talking you know what I'm saying? You too, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share. The name is R6, and I've got Kwaji Sheridan here. We did madness, and like I say, if you don't know how we do it, this is how we do it. Peace. Oh, peace out. <laughs>